Hi guys, this is Travis from Scroll Saw Goodies. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, we're continuing on our classroom series uh, as we learn to use the program GIMP to create scroll saw portrait patterns. Uh, this is going to be a bonus video. Uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration of how I take the base pattern and create a uh, cuttable scroll saw portrait pattern. And uh, there's an awful lot to cover, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and uh, talk while I am working. So here we have a picture of William Shatner. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come down to my original and I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to move it all the way to the top. So uh, I got to do that off screen. So I'm going to put that on the top layer and there we go. So now I have my original on top. I'm going to use this as a reference. Okay. I'm going to select my pattern layer uh, to make sure that I'm actually uh, uh, painting on the pattern layer and not any other layer. And I'm going to go ahead and hide my reference layer. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the eyes and uh, uh, start working there. So uh, I'm going to grab my number uh, five brush. That's my favorite size brush. So I'm going to just kind of go ahead and uh, use that. I'm going to just kind of clean up some of these. Uh, lines a little bit and uh, try to get rid of some of these gray areas and if I remember right his eye kind of right there's the white of the eye so I'm going to remove everything else and I'm gonna kinda bring that, let's take a look Okay, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to bring this line out just to kind of make it a little bit heavier. So anyway, this is a uh, class that's being taught over at Scroll Saw Village. Oh, control Z that out. Uh, it's a class being taught over at Scroll Saw Village. Uh, swing over to scrollsawvillage.com. Uh, look for the Village University logo. Uh, or the Village University uh, forum I should say and uh, you'll find this class as well as others uh, uh, over there uh, you'll find these videos some written out instruction and uh, some classroom discussion where you could get some of your uh, questions answered uh, if you ever get stuck so uh, this thing's actually going a little bit slower than I would like for this video, otherwise this video is going to be terribly long. So I'm going to try to get in there a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and clean that up. See there's a little bit right there that I'm trying to decide how I'm going to handle. Let's go ahead and bring that around. We'll do something like that. Let's take a look at his eyebrow. Uh, we could kind of play around with that a little bit. So, okay. So at any rate, this is a eight part class. Uh, we've covered seven parts so far. We're just about ready to wrap up. I thought this little video demonstration would be uh, 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 kind of nice to see because uh, not to really say that this is the only way to do it but it is awfully nice to see uh, how somebody else approaches the pattern and you could learn a fair amount uh, just by watching other people work. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, create this little video series. Uh, I'm hoping that it won't take me too long. I'm going to grab a bigger brush so I could knock these out a little bit quicker. But anyway, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, as I mentioned in the previous lesson, I tend to work with the eyes first because if you can't get the eyes right, uh, your portrait really it, it has a tough time uh, coming to life so uh, li the eyes 
as I said, are the windows to the soul, and uh, that really is true. And if he can't get the eyes right, he might as well just start over. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to knock these out. You know, this little nib right here, I kind of like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, kind of fill it in just a little bit more, just so you can actually thread a needle in there, or thread a... Uh, a scroll saw blade in there. And I think I kind of like that, but I'm not sure. We'll we'll take a look at it when I let's grab a bigger brush and let's just get rid of all this garbage. And we're just really just trying to get rid of all the extra gray tones. Here I'm using the dot to dot method I mentioned earlier. I do use a lot of freehand, but I also use a lot of the dot to dot. So, um, okay, let's take a look. Let's, let's control Z. Let's round this thing up. See, this is like a almost kind of like a little bag under his eyes, and I can't really decide if I like it or not. I'm gonna go ahead and try connecting this up. Like I said, all this stuff is really just um, interpretation. It's uh, what, how you feel the pattern uh, should be. Now we have a little floaty here, a little island, so let's go ahead and bridge that. Let's take a look, see where a good spot is. Boy, there really isn't any. We can maybe bridge it out over here. Eh, maybe. Or we could just kind of bridge it out over here. And this might be the better option. I'm going to go ahead and square that up a little bit. And uh, that looks alright for now. I'm not quite thrilled with that eyebrow, so we'll see. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Uh, this one looks pretty straightforward, though. Um, we'll just kind of round the eye out a little bit, so... Let's go ahead and fix those edges. Get rid of that. And then here is your highlight. So I'm going to square that up a little bit and bridge it out. Let's give it a little, just a tish bit more. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so we're uh, just trying to get rid of some of these gray areas. This side of the face is actually looking really pretty darn good, so I'm real happy with that. That we could get rid of. All this garbage over here, I'm going to grab a bigger brush. All this garbage uh, we could get rid of, so let's grab a smaller brush and then back to our number Five brush and then uh, I really like how the way that's shaping up so and I also like how his eyebrow is working in fact I really like uh, that area as well okay so like I said I kind of like uh, how where this eyebrow really is going just a moment let me So we'll just go ahead and more or less just kind of reinforce what's already there. So I'll just kind of bring that in. I really like this little dip under here uh, that was kind of in the original picture. So we'll go ahead and uh, add that. And then we'll bring this down. And we'll just get rid of all this garbage here. Okay. Now I think a lot of people are a little surprised by uh, how much work actually goes into a scroll saw portrait pattern. Uh, people assume that you just kind of run it through some filters and uh, uh, computer filters and in the end you end up having a, uh, a scroll saw portrait pattern and uh, that really isn't the case at all uh, 
there's still a lot of interpretation and a lot of judgment calls that you got to make. Uh, there are some people that are very good at running these filters and uh, are able to uh, run a certain combination of filters and really come up with a pattern that's uh, just about ready to cut. I mean, they got to go through and add a few bridges and whatnot, but uh, it gets pretty darn close to being a finished pattern after they get done with the filters. And you can really adjust that and uh, mess around with that until you get something that uh, you feel will work for you. I'm not really good at that, uh, but uh, it can be done. I find that uh, people that do that, uh, you know, they probably spend just as much time fiddling around with filters as I do probably cleaning up a pattern. So, you know, it's still going to take time either way. So you could kind of decide where you would rather spend that. Let's take a look at his face. Um, you know, I think that's kind of turning out okay. I'm going to I'm going to start working on the uh on his the side of his nose here. And I'm pretty much just going to take exactly what's there. I'm going to just get rid of these uh gray areas. I'm going to freehand this just because it gives it a little bit more interest. So I'm going to just pull that out and I'm going to grab a bigger brush and I'm just going to chunk this out. All this stuff I could get rid of as well. And let's grab a smaller brush and let's go back over and Sometimes I'll just kind of play with this line until I get something that I like. Remember, we're looking for kind of interesting shapes. And uh, lakes and peninsulas. And I really like to try to play with that as much as possible. Now right here is the side of his nostril. We're going to have to bridge that over somehow. So... I'm just kind of looking for a nice area, probably just right here. We'll just bridge that over. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up this nostril just a little bit. And then we'll tuck that in like that. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of all this gray area over here. Now we got pretty lucky with this uh, particular pattern because um, the uh, the color balance on the photo is just outstanding and uh, it's really rare to find a photograph that works this well. And I, I chose that on purpose. I wanted to make sure that uh, we have a uh, base picture or an original picture that uh, is accessible. Something that uh, I think you, most people would have success in creating a uh, pattern from. And uh, I think we did pretty well there. I'm going to just kind of shape this up. Boy, I'm not sure if I like that nostril there at all. So I might, hmm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to deal with that. Maybe I'll do something like that. Let's take a look at the original again. Because he does have a very distinct shape to his nose. So let's go ahead and clean this thing up and just kind of get rid of a lot of these squiggles. Again, I'm using the dot to dot method. And uh, I think that might work a little bit better. Let's take a look at the shadow under his nose. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this thing down just a little bit. And then just kind of hint at the shape of the nostril there. And then let's go ahead and get rid of all this gray area. And 
And then, um, let's go ahead and grab a big brush and just get rid of all this, all this extra fluff that we're just not really interested in. And let's take a look at the shape of the nose. Let's go ahead and pull the shape of the nose out a little bit better. See, I think that might work. Uh, I'm not sure if I liked how that worked out, so let's back up a little bit. Um, we won't be as extreme with this. And let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, let's grab a smaller brush in number five and uh, just kind of fill this in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and connect that up because really the less that you have to thread that blade, the better in my book. And then this will kind of bring out a little bit, a little bit more than what a, the pattern or the base pattern uh, chose. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Let's clean this area up. Let's take a look at the pattern again so I'm just gonna kinda come in there I'm gonna grab a bigger brush and we're gonna get rid of all this garbage and let's see for that little crevice in the lip we could probably pull that out or soften it up just a little in fact, let's soften it up just a little. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And you can kind of start to see the uh, pattern take shape there. Uh, let's go ahead and work on this crease. I actually like exactly what that crease is doing already. So I'm just basically going to go ahead and keep it there. I'm going to extend this thing up a little bit. Whoops. Let's get black. I'm going to extend that up just a little bit. Um, I kind of like how this is a little irregular, but I'm going to go ahead and connect it so I don't have to thread that scroll saw blade again. And then uh, let's go ahead and grab the white and uh, separate it from the lake. Using the little dot to dot method once again. You'll see that I do that an awful lot. It really is a great technique, uh, especially if you have uh, uh, mouse control issues, uh, whether you're nervous or you just don't have the uh, motor skills to be able to uh, control the mouse real fine. Uh, this really helps a lot. Uh, sometimes uh, if you even go, if you have trouble uh, working the mouse, you could also go into the accessibility options on your computer and just turn down the sensitivity of your mouse and uh, that will also help a lot so I'm just erasing all this gray area I probably should get a bigger brush but I'm about ready to work on the other side so I'm not and let's see it looks like we're about 18 minutes in Actually, we're doing we're making pretty good time. I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit, um, mostly so that the video isn't horribly long. I did a, a video series on uh, creating a dog portrait not too long ago, and it was like three and a half hours long. It was a very difficult portrait to actually work with, um, which obviously increases the amount of time required. I'm hoping this one will go a little bit quicker because I don't really want to put you guys through uh, three and a half hours of me babbling and uh, trying to create a pattern. Okay, all this stuff here on his upper lip, let's just get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Probably a lot of that. Let's work on his uh, left cheek here just because it kind of connects to the eye a little bit. And uh, 
I think I'm going to leave pretty much exactly what's there. I'm going to just kind of go in here with uh, the white and uh, separate out this lake a little bit. I think I might do this more or less freehand because I like uh, I really like irregular shapes when as much as possible it just makes really interesting uh, patterns so a lot of this I'll do freehand uh, and I'm not trying to be overly accurate or anything like that um, there's certain areas where you do need tight control and other areas you could be a little bit more liberal uh, shadow areas like this I think I could be a little bit more liberal so I'm just going to kind of freehand that in and uh, if it uh, doesn't quite look right uh, your undo palette right here uh, will allow you to step back as you can kind of see there but I like what I did so I'm gonna go back to the uh, where I was I'm gonna grab a bigger paintbrush not do black I want to do white and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this stuff that I separated out and this is where we're starting to kind of get into the lip area so I'm gonna leave that alone for now um, let's take a look where we're at it's starting to look kinda of good uh, let's work with the lips a little bit uh, let me grab a drink so my throat doesn't get too hoarse you are watching this uncut so uh, let's go back to my reference photo okay now we talked about the little lips a little bit earlier I talked about there's a shadow on the corner of the lips I usually indicate the shadow where the lips meet and uh, there's also a little shadow under the lip uh, which we'll also play with um, everything looks all right I think I might clean up this bottom edge just make it a little bit smoother so I'll go ahead and use my dot to dot method because I want a little bit finer control and I don't want as many squiggles except over here I might get a little bit more carried away okay and then let's go over to the black I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up um, let's take a look at the original I'm gonna go ahead and take out all this gray here just like that and then let's remove all this other garbage and let's go ahead and fix this area up because we want to hint at the uh, see this is uh, see this little peak right here I don't even know what you call that but there's like a little peak right there I kinda want to kinda hint that there's a line going toward that uh, without actually putting in the detail so that's kinda why I left that little nib there and there here's the corner of his mouth I'm not sure what that is so let's take a look uh, it kinda looks like a dimple but um, I bet we could do without it so I'll just go ahead and remove that let's go ahead and clean this area up a little bit go in here freehand just a tish okay let's grab a bigger paintbrush let's get rid of some of this extra stuff go ahead and get rid of that area because we just don't need it and then um, boy I'm not sure if I like how that lip is turning out um, well let's see here what happens if we pull this part out that's a little bit better 
that might have been a little extreme so let's go ahead and just kind of soften that up I'm just using a larger paintbrush um, let's go ahead and get in with the black go back to my number five and let's just go ahead and clean a little bit of this up um, you know maybe maybe that's not let's just get rid of this section let's see what happens hmm That's a little bit better. Very tricky little area. Let's go ahead and square this little piece up here. Kind of, we're trying to get that smirk that he's kind of known for. So, okay, this garbage over here. Let's, oops, wrong button. Dang it. Okay. this stuff we don't need so let's grab a bigger paintbrush knock that out let's go back to our number five I don't think we need any of this stuff either so we'll go ahead and remove that I think that made a kind of a big difference there uh, let's go ahead let's see if we come over here to our pattern we have our original base pattern uh, underneath called photocopy and we can kind of flip back and forth to see uh, the areas that we've changed so I'm gonna try to put a little bit of that old part back in and instead of let's see what that look boy we just can't win with that little area it's it's needed but if you do it wrong it just looks it just looks silly see and these are the decisions you end up struggling with um, um maybe a little bit closer I'm probably spending way too much time on this uh, than I should be but boy man that just bothers me let's figure out what we could do over here let's maybe this thing's just popping up too much let's see if we thin this thing out see what happens there we go uh, it's it's getting better let's zoom into the nose cuz this is kinda bothering me a little bit here and let's kinda try to give it a little bit more dimension and let's pull this shadow out a little bit and maybe pull this thing down okay so we're getting there we're getting a little bit closer uh, this is at 29 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and put a stop right here we're gonna continue on here in a second uh, so uh, make sure you tune into uh, the next video uh, okay let's stop it here and uh, we'll continue